सी आई टी एन सी आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक ऑफ साइंस फॉर क्लास सेवन एन टाइटल्ड साइंस दिस इज लेसन सिक्सटीन वॉटर अ प्रेशियस रिसोर्स फ्रॉम पेज वन नाइंटी थ्री टू पेज टू हंड्रेड फाइव Let's listen to lesson 16 Water a precious resource Page 193 Jal hai to kal hai If you have water you can think of the future You are perhaps aware that 22 March is celebrated as the World Water Day A school celebrated Water Day and invited posters from the children of your age group some of the posters presented on that day are given in figure 16.1 figure 16.1 collage of posters these posters have these headlines save every drop of water you can save water every drop counts my best friend water what is the message you get from these posters write your observations in your notebook and discuss them in the class have you ever felt shortage of water at home or at school your parents or teachers must very often be advising you not to waste water no wonder we celebrate water day every year to attract the attention of everybody towards the importance of conserving water the amount of water recommended by the united nations for drinking washing cooking and maintaining proper hygiene is a minimum of 50 liters per person per day this amount is about 2 and a half buckets of water per person per day is your family getting at least this much of water if yes you should consider yourself fortunate because millions of people in our country do not get enough water what about your friends and their families share your experience with them in some places there is an acute shortage of water taps running dry long queues of water which you can observe in figure 16.2 fights marches and protests for demand of water have become a common sight especially during summers some of the newspaper clippings are given in figure 16.3 they clearly indicate this message is it not true that we face acute shortage of water page 194 figure 16.2 long queue for water here we can observe a lot of people standing in a line they have containers with them and are waiting for their turn to fill water activity 16.1 collect clippings from newspapers and magazines on the news items articles and pictures related to water shortage paste them in your scrapbook and share it with your friends list some problems faced by the people and discuss them in the class water shortage has become a matter of concern throughout the world it is estimated that in a few years from now more than 1/3 of the people in the world could face water scarcity figure 16.3 newspaper clippings here we can read these headlines what if 2006 gets less rain water conservation are you water conscious note year 2003 was observed as the international year of fresh water to make people aware of this dwindling natural resource figure 16.4 earth 
appears blue from space. Before we discuss why water is getting scarce, we must know how much water is available for use on our planet. 16.1 How much water is available? Observe the picture of the earth taken from space. Why does it appear blue? Surely you can guess. You are aware that about 71% of the earth's surface is covered with water. Almost all the water on the earth is contained in the seas and oceans, rivers, lakes, ice caps as groundwater and in the atmosphere. However, most of this water is not fit for human consumption directly. The water that is fit for use is fresh water. Perform the following activity to estimate roughly the relative amount of water available in some of these sources. Page 195 Activity 16.2 Most of us assume water to be a limitless resource. From this activity, can you appreciate the actual amount of water available for human use? Does the finding worry you? Discuss this in your class. There is a table given here. In this table, there are three columns and four rows. The first column has steps. The second column has figure. The third column has remark. 1. Take a medium-sized bucket and fill it up with water. It contains about 20 litres of water. In column 2, we can observe this bucket. Assume that this water represents all the water present on the earth. 2. Take a teaspoon of about 5 milliliter capacity and transfer 100 spoons of water from the bucket to a small container, like a bath mug. In column 2, you can observe this mug. This represents total fresh water on the earth. 3. From the bath mug, transfer 30 spoons of water to a glass tumbler. In column 2, you can observe this tumbler. This gives a measure of usable water present as ground water. 4. Finally, take out a quarter or one fourth spoonful of water from the mug. You can observe this spoon in column 2. It represents all the water present in all the lakes and rivers of the world. Point 1. The water left in the bucket represents the saline water present in the seas, oceans and partly as groundwater. This water is not fit for human use. Point 2. The water left in the bath mug represents the water which is present in the frozen form in glaciers, ice caps and permanent snow. Again, not available readily. There's a thought bubble given here. A picture of Bojo is next to it. Bojo wondered about the alarmingly small quantity of water available for our use. There's another thought bubble given here. A picture of Paheli is next to it. Paheli quickly calculated and found that this amount is roughly 0.006% of all water found on the earth. Page 196 16.2 Forms of Water Are you afraid that continuous use will someday exhaust all the water available for use? You know that water on the earth has been maintained for millions of years by various processes which make the water cycle. You have studied the water cycle in class 6. Write in your own words what you know about the water cycle. You know that when water circulates through the water cycle, it can be found in all the three forms, that is, solid, liquid and gas, at any given time somewhere on the earth. The solid form, snow and ice, is present as ice caps at 
the poles of the earth, snow-covered mountains and glaciers. Liquid water is present in oceans, lakes, rivers and even underground. The gaseous form is the water vapour present in the air around us. The continuous cycling of water among its three forms keeps the total amount of water on the earth constant even when the whole world is using it. Does it give you any relief? Can you recall the processes involved in water cycle? The following activity will help you. Activity 16.3 Figure 16.5 shows the processes involved in the water cycle. They are labelled by numbers. Match these numbers with the processes given in the jumbled form. Figure 16.5 Water Cycle In this figure, we can observe a house. Lots of trees are around it. There is also a water body next to it. We can also observe the process of evaporation and rain. 1. R U D G O N space R A W E T 2. A T O O N I A E R V P 3. A C E S T O O N N N I D 4 D U C L O S 5 T S P R A T N I A O I N R 6. A I T F I N L R O N I T 7. N T C I E P I R T A I P O Most towns and cities have water supply system maintained by the civic bodies. Page 197 The water is drawn from nearby lakes, rivers, ponds or wells. The water is supplied through a network of pipes. Many villages do not have such a water supply system. There, people fetch water directly from the sources. Often, people and even children have to walk several kilometers to fetch water. You can observe this in figure 16.6. .6. The children suffer a lot. They cannot attend school regularly since they spend hours in fetching water. Figure 16.6 .6. Women fetching water There is a thought bubble given here. A picture of Bojo is next to it. Women have to perform a number of household chores. If they have also to spend time to fetch water, it adds to their burden. A large number of people draw water from wells, tube wells or hand pumps. From where do these sources get water? 16.3 Groundwater as an important source of water. If we dig a hole in the ground near a water body, we may find that the soil is moist. The moisture in the soil indicates the presence of water underground. If we dig deeper and deeper, we would reach a level where all the space between particles of soil and gaps between rocks are filled with water. You can observe this in figure 16.7. The upper level of this layer is called the water table. The water table varies from place to place and it may even change at a given place. The water table may be at a depth of less than a meter or may be several meters below the ground. The water found below the water table is called groundwater. 
what is the source of this ground water? The rain water and water from other sources such as rivers and ponds seeps through the soil and fills the empty spaces and cracks deep below the ground. The process of seeping of water into the ground is called infiltration. The ground water thus gets recharged by this process. At places, the ground water is stored between layers of hard rock below the water table. This is known as aquifer. Water in the aquifers can be usually pumped out with the help of tube wells or hand pumps. Have you ever been to a site where construction work is going on? From where do the workers get water for construction? Page 198 Maybe you have observed boring being done at such sites to reach the water table. Enquire from the people working there how deep they have to dig. Can we keep on drawing water from under the ground? How will it affect the water table? Figure 16.7 Ground Water and Water Table Here we can observe a lot of trees. Below these trees we can observe soil. Below this soil there is water table. This water table is helping pump water out of hand pump. This water table gets water from stream or lake and rain. Rain helps in recharging this water table. Below the water table is again soil. Below this soil is ground water. 16.4 Depletion of water table Water drawn from under the ground gets restored by seepage of rainwater. The water table does not get affected as long as we draw as much water as is replenished by natural processes. However, water table may go down if the water is not sufficiently replenished. This may happen due to many reasons. Increase in population, industrial and agricultural activities are some common factors affecting water table. Scanty rainfall is another factor that may deplete the water table. Yet another factor affecting water table could be deforestation and decrease in the effective area for seepage of water. Increasing population Increasing population creates demand for construction of houses, shops, offices, roads and pavements. This decreases the open areas like parks and playgrounds. This in turn decreases the seepage of rainwater into the ground. What could be the consequence? Recall that a pakka floor does not allow water to seep in easily, while in a grass lawn water seeps through in no time. Page 199 Moreover, a huge amount of water is required for construction work. Often, ground water is used for this purpose. So, on one hand, we are consuming more ground water and on the other, we are allowing lesser water to seep into the ground. This results in depletion of water table. In fact, the water table in some parts of many cities has gone down to alarmingly low levels. Increasing industries Water is used by all the industries. Almost everything that we use needs water somewhere in its production process. The number of industries is increasing continuously. Water used by most of the industries is drawn from the ground. Activity 16.4 Name some industries familiar to you. Make a list of the products obtained from these and used in our daily life. Discuss with your teacher and parents how the growing industrial activity is responsible for the depletion of water table.
agricultural activities. A majority of farmers in India depend upon rains for irrigating their crops. Irrigation systems such as canals are there only in a few places. Even these systems may suffer from lack of water due to erratic rainfall. Therefore, farmers have to use groundwater for irrigation. Population pressure on agriculture forces increasing use of groundwater day by day. This results in depletion of water table. 16.5 Distribution of Water The distribution of water over the globe is quite uneven due to a number of factors. Some places have good amount of rain and are water rich. On the other hand, there are deserts which have scanty rainfall. India is a vast country and the rainfall is not the same everywhere. Some regions have excessive rains while some others have very little rainfall. Excessive rains cause floods, whereas the absence of rains results in droughts. Therefore, some regions in our country may have floods while others may suffer from droughts at the same time. Activity 16.5 Given here is the rainfall map of India. You can observe it in figure 16.8. It gives the average rainfall in different regions of our country. 1. Locate on the map the place you live in. 2. Are you blessed with sufficient rainfall? 3. Is there sufficient water table in your area throughout the year? It may be possible that we are living in an area where there is sufficient rainfall, yet there is shortage of water. Can we attribute this to mismanagement of water resources? 16.6 Water Management You have read in Class 6 that in many places, a regular supply of water is provided by a well-planned pipe system. Page 200. Figure 16.8 Rain Map of India Here we can observe the rain map of India. The color indigo represents above 400 cm rainfall. The color purple represents 200 to 400 cm rainfall. The color blue represents 100 to 200 cm rainfall. The color light blue represents 60 to 100 cm rainfall. An even lighter shade of blue represents 40 to 60 cm rainfall. Off white represents 20 to 40 cm rainfall. White represents 0 to 20 cm rainfall. From this map, we learn that the most rainfall in our country is in the northeast region and the western Ghats. Page 201 When the civic authorities supply water through pipes, not all of it may reach the destination. You might have observed water supply pipes leaking and a lot of water gushing out of the pipes. It is the responsibility of the civic authorities to prevent such wastage of precious water. Mismanagement or wastage may take place at the level of individuals also. All of us knowingly or unknowingly waste water while brushing teeth, shaving, bathing, washing and during many other activities. Leaking taps is another source of huge water wastage. We waste water as though we do not need water the next time. We have observed most of the water that we get as rainfall just flows away. This is a waste of precious natural resource. The rainwater can be used to recharge the groundwater. This is referred to as water harvesting or rainwater harvesting about which you have learnt in class 6. Find out if the buildings in your neighbourhood 
have water harvesting systems installed. We have, at many places in India, an age-old practice of water storage and water recharge like the Bavris. Bavri was the traditional way of collecting water. With time, the Bavris fell into disuse and garbage started piling in these reservoirs. However, because of the acute water shortage, people in these areas have had to rethink. The Bowries are being revived. Today, the situation is that, in spite of scanty rains, these places are managing their water needs well. A farmer using water in the field can also use water economically. Maybe you have heard of drip irrigation. You can observe this in figure 16.9. Drip irrigation is a technique of watering plants by making use of narrow tubings which deliver water directly at the base of the plant. A case study Bhujpur in the Kutch area of Gujarat has a very erratic rainfall. The only source of fresh water lies underground because rivers in this area do not have water throughout the year. Over the years, demand for water has grown. The withdrawal of groundwater has far exceeded recharge. As a result, the water table has gone down alarmingly. In 1989, the villagers, along with a non-governmental organization, decided to harvest rainwater. Eighteen Czech dams were built on the Rukmavati River and its many tributaries. The water so collected increased percolation through the soil and recharged the aquifers. According to farmers, the wells have water now and the water that flowed into the sea and was wasted has become available for irrigation. Page 202 Figure 16.9 Drip irrigation in a field Here we can observe some plants. They are being watered with the help of drip irrigation. 16.7 What role you can play? Have you ever shown concern if you observed a tap leaking in your house, school or any other place? Leaking taps waste a lot of water. You must make efforts to stop this leakage. There are a number of ways you can adopt to minimize the wastage of water. Let us begin. We have given a few examples. Add on. Water wise habits 1. Turn off taps while brushing. 2. Mop the floor instead of washing. 16.8 Effect of water scarcity on plants. You must have observed potted plants wilting and ultimately drying up if they did not get water even for a few days. You have already learned in Chapter 1 that plants need water to get nutrients from the soil to prepare their food. Just imagine the consequences if water is not available to plants. The green character of the planet shall be lost. This may mean the end of all life for a world without plants shall mean no food, no oxygen, not enough rain and innumerable other problems. A successful initiative Rajasthan is a hot and dry place. The challenge of natural scarcity of water was met by a successful experiment. A band of social workers has transformed a dry area in the Alwar district into a green place. They have revived five dried up rivers, Arveri, Ruparel, Sarsa, Bhagani and Jahazwali by constructing water harvesting structures. Hamara Jal, Hamara Jeevan Keywords Aquifer Depletion Drip Irrigation Groundwater Infiltration Recharge Water Harvesting Water Table Page 203 
what you have learned. 1. Water is essential for all living beings. There can be no life without it. 2. Water exists in three forms, solid, liquid and vapour. 3. Though water is maintained by the water cycle, yet there is an acute scarcity of water in many parts of the globe. 4. There is an uneven distribution of water. Much of it has resulted from human activities. 5. Rapid growth of industries, increasing population, growing irrigation requirements and mismanagement are some of the causes for water shortage. 6. We need to be worried about the wastage during the supply of water through pipes, the leaking taps in buildings and other places, unnecessary use of water and overdrawing from groundwater should be avoided. Recharge of water to the ground should be increased. 7. The need of the hour is that every individual uses water economically. 8. Plants wilt and ultimately dry up if they are not watered for a few days. Exercises 1. Mark T if the statement is true and F if it is false. A. The fresh water stored in the ground is much more than that present in the rivers and lakes of the world. B. Water shortage is a problem faced only by people living in rural areas. C. Water from rivers is the only source for irrigation in the fields. D. Rain is the ultimate source of water. 2. Explain how groundwater is recharged. 3. There are 10 tube wells in a lane of 50 houses. What could be the long-term impact on the water table? 4. You have been asked to maintain a garden. How will you minimize the use of water? 5. Explain the factors responsible for the depletion of water table. 6. Fill in the blanks with the appropriate answers. A. People obtain groundwater through blank and blank. Page 204 B. Three forms of water are blank, blank and blank. C. The water-bearing layer of the earth is blank. D. The process of water seepage into the ground is called blank. 7. Which one of these is not responsible for water shortage? 1. Rapid growth industries 2. Increasing population 3. Heavy rainfall 4. Mismanagement of water resources 8. Choose the correct option. The total water 1. In the lakes and rivers of the world remains constant 2. Under the ground remains constant 3. In the seas and oceans of the world remains constant. 4. Of the world remains constant. 9. Make a sketch showing groundwater and water table. Label it. Extended learning activities and projects. 1. Role play. You are a water detective in your school. You have a team of six members. Survey the campus and make a note of the following. A. Total number of taps. B. Number of taps leaking. C. Amount of water wasted due to leakage. D. Reasons of leakage. E. Corrective measures taken. 2. Groundwater pumped out. 
try to find out if there are any hand pumps in your neighborhood go to the owner or the users of a few of these and find out the depth at which they struck water if there are any differences think of the probable reason write a brief report and discuss it in your class if possible visit a place where boring is going on to install a hand pump watch the process carefully and find out the depth of the water table at that place 3 catching rain water traditional methods form groups of 4 to 5 students in the class and prepare a report on the various traditional ways of water harvesting if possible use the following web link www.rainwaterharvesting.org page 205 four conservation of water carry out a campaign to conserve water at home and in the school design posters to remind others of the importance of water resources five create a logo hold a competition to create a logo or a symbol depicting water scarcity did you know the importance of water management has been highlighted by a watershed management project near the village of kothapalli the project has yielded dramatic results ground water levels have risen green cover has increased and productivity and incomes in this semi arid region have dramatically improved the chapter 16 of total 18 chapters of the book ends here narrator akash ahuja producer vandana arimardan presented by c i e t n c e r t new delhi india